Hey everyone, Dan here. Uh, we are just a few minutes before close on Friday, March 5th. Is that what it is? Yes, Friday, March 5th. And um, I wanted to do an update on sort of what we've been seeing in the market as a whole. You know, there's um, a lot of chatter about a crash that's coming or that has started. And I wanted to kind of give an update from the video that, that I put out uh, a couple of days ago about what we should be looking for if we're either going to see a reversal and get back um, onto the bullish side of things or if we continue to fall where we might expect to um, kind of catch the falling knife, if you will. So I wanted to start with SPY today, which tracks the S&P 500. And, um, you know, we're having a much better day today <laughs> than yesterday, as you can tell. And, um, you know, we're out of this blue box, which is good. What I suspect might have happened in this blue box is that we may have been coming down to fill this gap that we see here between like three, just call it 380 down to, you know, like 376. And, um, you know, if that's the case, then we may be uh, out of the woods for now. But um, it's definitely yet to be seen. There's a lot of friction points that are going to come into play pretty quickly here, 386 and then 389. And so we're going to have to see how the price reacts, if it can get up there, um, how it reacts when it gets to those levels. Um, if it does fall below this box, I do think there's a pretty quick support level at 375. So I would hope to see that hold if um, if we do break below this box. Um, <clears throat> then there's another one at 371. Uh, my sort of second level of worry, if we do continue to fall, is that we're coming down to try to fill the gap that this red box indicates, which is between like 370 and 368, the gap you can see over here. Um, but, you know, we'll obviously keep an eye on it and, and sort of like see how this plays out. Um, what I'd be cautious of as the day is wrapping up here is if we're double topping out right here. Uh, well, if we're double topping out from this candle to this candle, you know, it may still just be on an upward trajectory and then it'll just get um, stopped because <clears throat> the market will close. So <laughs> that doesn't necessarily mean that like it's going to then drop because it double tops there if it just gets timed out because the market closes. But um, it's something to look for. Uh, it does often respect these these double tops, double top, double top, sort of like the triple top and then quadruple top on this one essentially. Um, or I guess we sort of have five candles here that, that kind of all topped out before we got this big push downward. Um, but, you know, keep keep an eye on the, the SPY ETF for, for these levels to sort of decide whether or not we are crashing and there's, you know, much more selling pressure in the market or if we might be starting to recover and some buying pressure is coming in. People are scooping up good deals that's, um, that have been brought about by the recent sell-off. Uh, of equal measure, let's take a look at the QQQ, which tracks the NASDAQ. My general feeling on this entire sell-off is that it's led by the um, boom that we've seen in tech stock prices that I think are definitely strongly connected with growth stocks that um, are not profitable yet or are minimally minimally profitable, but have much larger valuations, um, that that like, PE ratio is is very, very high. Um, so I think that's that's why a lot of the growth stocks that you'll see are getting beat up way, way more than even some of the tech stocks. Um, you know, a lot of those growth stocks have fallen 25 to maybe 50% in some cases um, off, of, off of prices that they were just at a few weeks ago. So for some stocks, it's been really, really aggressive. Um, and so what I have been saying here for the last few days is, you know, QQQ, which again tracks the NASDAQ, um, needs to be able to hold this yellow box, which we saw it start to fall out and then it's started to to rehold it. So let's see if it can get out of this box um, and establish a support level on top of it, which would be around a little over 310. Um, I was getting a little nervous this morning when it dipped into the red box because I do think that if we 
uh, have more pressure into the red box there, um, that, that that's going to be pretty challenging uh, to keep ourselves from falling down to this white box, which represents filling this gap here, which that's sort of like my worst case scenario, um, is that we're coming down to try to fill this gap and that that's what this move down actually is, because that would push us all the way down 276 to 282 range. Um, but hopefully that's not the case. Uh, but here's what I'd be looking at, you know, if we're going to reverse it. Hold the yellow box, reestablish support at 310, and then push to 317. If we start testing 317 and get some bounces off of that, that'll be a good sign that's, uh, that maybe we're actually starting to recover and we can kind of get back on track here. Um, if we sell off and get into the red box, um, you know, I would be nervous that us establishing uh, sort of like consolidation or price action inside that red box, uh, it would be a sign that we're going to push down into that white box. So be careful, continue to be careful out there if you haven't been yet. Um, maybe watch my other video on stocks that you can buy uh, if you are in a down market and, and those stocks will increase in price as the market is going down. Um, I'll link that above. Um, and also a video that I just put out about SPACs and what to look for in any SPACs like iPod, iPoff, um, PSTH, uh, I think there's another one, BFT. Um, there's a bunch of SPACs. You can just Google SPACs and you'll get a bunch of tickers and sort of, again, important thing there, do your research on the um, leadership and their their track record and um, you know, if you trust in them and believe in them and the price is getting pretty close to that initial offering price um, that the SPAC has, it could be something to consider as well. So um, that's all. I hope everyone you know held up okay this week and um, will sort of like be very interesting to, to see what Monday brings. But these are the levels that I'd pay attention to as we go. And um, cool. Well, thanks for watching. And uh, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you're enjoying these videos, it, it helps a ton. And I'll see you all in the next video.